In this problem, we have an integral, and we have to determine if it's improper or proper, and then if it converges or diverges. So because we have an infinity symbol here, right away we know that this is an improper integral. So whenever you have an infinity or negative infinity in one of the limits of integration, automatically you know it's improper. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to work through this. So we'll start by rewriting our integral. So 2 to infinity, 1 over x squared dx. Next thing we'll do here is, I guess, replace the infinity with a variable. So we're going to go from 2 to b. And then what you do is you take the limit and you let b approach whatever you replaced. So we replaced uh, the infinity, so we let b approach infinity. In order to integrate 1 over x squared, we probably want to write it as x to a power. So what we'll do is we'll write it as x to the negative 2, and then dx. When you bring it up, the exponent becomes negative. All right, so this is equal to... Now we can go ahead and integrate because we have something to a power. So we still have the limit sign. So limit b approaching infinity. So we add 1 and divide by the result. So negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. And then we divide by negative 1. And we're going from 2 to b. Let's go ahead and rewrite it again. This is the limit as b approaches infinity of negative 1 over x. And we're going from 2 to b. So this is equal to, let's see, this is the limit as b approaches infinity. So first you plug in the b, so we get negative 1 over b. Then we plug in the 2, so minus negative 1 over 2, just like that. Good stuff. All right, so let's see here. We plugged in the b, subtracted, plugged in the 2. Let's write it one more time. This is the limit as b approaches infinity. So we have negative 1 over b, and then minus and minus is plus, so plus 1 half. At this point, I think we're ready to take the limit because everything is good. When b gets really, 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 really big, this fraction gets really, 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 really small. And it approaches 0, so we get 0 plus 1 half, which is equal to 1 half. So the answer we get is 1 half, and that would mean that the integral converges. Whenever you get an answer, uh, it converges. If you get like infinity or negative infinity or uh, d and e, then the answer would be diverges. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.